Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Design It Green. My name is Carter and today I want to talk about five programs you need to master in landscape architecture school. Now during your undergraduate career, you're going to be coming across a ton of new materials and new programs, and you're going to have to learn a lot of them fairly quickly and effectively. But that being said, there's really only five programs that you need to master in order to not only get the most out of your design capability and skill, but also to give you the best marketability in your job post-grad. And not to mention that if you're really good in these programs, it's going to save you a ton of time in school. And also it's going to give you the best chance to relay your information in the best form possible to your peers, professors, and eventually your clients. And of course, all of these programs that I mentioned today, I will cover in further detail in later videos. So make sure to subscribe. And make sure you follow me on all my other platforms as you can stay up to date on what I'm doing currently. So you can find all those links in the description below. But with all that aside, let's get into number five. So number five is gonna be Trimble's SketchUp. SketchUp has to be on this list for a few different reasons. To start, it's the most versatile 3D rendering software that landscape architects currently have. It allows us to easily bring ideas that are stuck on the page into the semi-realistic three-dimensional object where our clients can easily understand what we're trying to convey. And as you move into the professional world and present to clients more, it's gonna be crucial that you can convey your idea in two and three-dimensional spaces because oftentimes your client can't really understand what's going on in the two-dimensional realm. So being able to show those renders in 3D really goes a long way. So if you can give them those three-dimensional renders that can illustrate your idea, it can be a real positive to yourself and a real selling point for your design. And of course you can do this with many different programs and even by hand, but what makes this program so great is that the speed in which you can do this when you get really fast at it. Eventually you're gonna be able to create your whole project in SketchUp. And at that point, you're gonna be able to take any three-dimensional render that you could ever need all in that one program. So make sure that when SketchUp is finally introduced to you, that you spend a little extra time getting to really know the program because it'll really take you a long way in the long run. Okay, so number four is gonna be Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is the staple digital representation tool that you can use in a thousand different ways. The main uses you're gonna come across for Photoshop will be your secondary or supporting digital graphics. So things like sections, diagrams, and even plans will be used here. The benefit of mastering this program is really limitless, but it's mainly gonna help you take any image or idea you want and be able to manipulate it however you like. So this is gonna allow you to create things like Photoshopping realistic trees or taking backgrounds of some other image and backdropping them onto yours to further enhance the atmosphere and also just be able to create things from scratch. It's also important to mention that learning any Adobe software is generally really good as a designer and it's gonna allow you to have less limitations moving forward in your design process. So like the rest of these programs that I'm gonna to mention today, it's important that you just keep practicing and improving in these programs because once you master them, it can really take your designs to the next level and separate yourself from the crowd. Okay, so number three is gonna be the most technical program on this list, and that's gonna be Autodesk's AutoCAD. CAD is definitely the most intimidating and challenging program you're gonna learn as a new student. There's just a thousand different little commands and minor things that you need to know before you get started, and it's, it's just really overwhelming at first. But the benefits of getting over the hump and being well-versed in CAD is you're gonna be able to create precise line work and also make it elegant at the same time. And of course, with that precision, you're gonna be able to give your design realistic dimensions and make sure that your design can succeed in a real world. In addition to the design aspect of CAD, you're gonna to need to know the program effectively to be able to draw construction details. Although you won't be drawing many construction details in school, once you get out of school, you're gonna be doing a lot of that. So that's something that your employer right out of the gate is really gonna value. So if you can say that you have a strength in AutoCAD coming out of school, it's gonna be a real advantage to you and it's gonna help set you up for success down the road. Okay, so number two on this list is gonna be Adobe InDesign. InDesign is your all-in-one publishing and page layout tool in landscape architecture. It allows you to create things like mood boards, presentations, design boards, all on one platform. InDesign is a crucial skill to have because if 
you don't know how to put together a clear presentation or design board, then it really doesn't matter what you do because your idea is not gonna get conveyed properly. But the good news is that this program is relatively easy and straightforward to learn. And once you get to know it, there's gonna be a lot of little things that you can make in your presentation and design boards that can separate yourself from the crowd. Learning InDesign is often something that you overlook because it tends to be at the end of the project after all of your drawings are finished. And by that point, you really just kind of just want to send it off and be done with it. But in reality, if you can think about your presentation before the final stages of your production and think about the overall aesthetic and feel, it can really amplify your product and relay your information to the clients really, really well. And this was honestly probably the single most important thing that I learned my senior year. So make sure you're not like me and neglect it because it really could have helped me out in the years prior. Alrighty, the final program on this list is gonna be Adobe's Illustrator. And this was yet another program that I neglected until midway through my junior year. And I really wish I didn't because the design capabilities are really the best in the business for landscape architecture. The main reason why Illustrator is the best digital program out there is because of its overall functionality and use with other programs. It's gonna allow you to easily modify line works from places like CAD and SketchUp and also be able to design things like plans, sections, and really, really cool diagrams all in one place. And yes, you can do all these things in Adobe's Photoshop, and that's certainly what I did for a long time. But since we're dealing with vectors in Illustrator as opposed to pixels, the overall quality of the image is way better than Photoshop. So since everything you design is gonna be all vectors, you're not only gonna have those crisp and clean lines, but you're also gonna be able to scale everything and keep those dimensions Correct. So make sure when you're finally introduced to the digital world of graphics, you don't be like me and just neglect Illustrator and just learn Photoshop. Make sure you learn both of them because they both have their own applications and they were both created for their own reason. So those are my five programs that you need to master in landscape architecture. I think overall, all of these programs are very doable and can be learned fairly quickly over your four years. But the best way to go about it is really just to practice all the time and just test things out on all the programs because that's really the best way to learn is by trial and error. So I hope that helps you out. And of course, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and then also drop a comment below on what your favorite digital program is so far. As always, thank you and see you next time.